Hello there, my name is Makhors and in this video I'd like to show you how to completely change a form for the replay. There are a couple of ways to achieve this effect and I'll show all of them and they have their own pros and cons. So here I have a scene where the girl is just like walking around and let's say at this moment I'd like to change her into another mob, for example, I don't know, like a sheep. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit replay, pick, the first one is through the anchor form. So the way it works is that with the anchor form, I am adding the girl here, and I'm also gonna add here the ship over here. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm gonna dis disable the visibility, and for both of them, I have to enable use target in order to make these forms to follow, for example, the head movement and stuff like that. So once we have these, um, what I'm gonna do is to take visibility and I'm going to flip it so here it was disabled so it wasn't true and then I enabled now the ship is visible while the girl is not so here there we go this is one of the ways the pros is that it's you can animate it with the keyframes and the cons is that you would need to change the structure and if you already have keyframes animated so it could probably require you to redo the keyframes. The second way is pretty similar, it also involves animating the visible keyframe, however, how it works is that I duplicate this replay and then change it to the sheep. And now we have two of them at the same time, and but they're separate. What I'm gonna do, so let's say it was the same place about, so here I'm gonna disable the visibility in the first one. I'm also gonna do the same thing, so let's see. And it works the same way. However, the cons of this approach is that if you change the animations, for example, keyframes, you would have to like copy and paste these guys because uh, they are not in sync. Another one is that there is a shadow, a double shadow. So this can be fixed by basically zipping shadow over here. But overall, I think it works pretty much the same. And the last method only works with model forms. Model forms have this model keyframe where you can change the model. However, I don't really recommend this approach. However, I still want to show it just in case maybe you would be able to come up with some clever ideas. Anyways, here you can input the ID of the form, for example. In the replace, I could look up, for example, I want to change it to Alex, emoticons Alex simple. So what I'm gonna do is here input emoticons Alex simple and as you can see it changed from the vanilla animations to emoticons animations. I don't really recommend because for example if I'll change here to another model I have first of all <laughs> the skin has to be changed as well. So here control F the normie and suit and also some models the animations might not adjust due to the actions let's see if it yeah, as you can see the base didn't have these animations so it doesn't work precisely because that it breaks the animation for regular model but for some reason for emoticons ones yeah this is a way but i would rather recommend using the first or the second one so, that's pretty much it. I know that keyframe system made switching between different forms inconvenient, but I think the power keyframe give is worth the sacrifice. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye!